Hello YouTube, this is Old Square Wheel 60 coming back with another video review of a new of a wooden railway product that is not new, but something I mentioned that I was getting today anyway. So today we are gonna be reviewing a new I mean we're gonna be reviewing uh something I another eBay item that I said was coming today. And coincidentally, this is the one that I ordered before um, D199 here, but you know, this one, this one that I got was supposed to come before D199, but D199 got here first, which is kind of cool, I guess. But without further ado, let's roll him in. And here it is. Here it is Wooden Railway Derek. Now, a little background on Derek. He is a um, BR Class 17, which were known to be quite quite a lot of quite failures back in the days of BR. You know, they didn't have really reliable engines, and that was kind of highlighted in the fifth series episode, Teething Troubles, which which introduced Derek. He was brought to the island as a nice diesel, but was accident prone. Well, he was prone to break down, and he overheated a lot. But you know. But then after teething troubles, we never saw him again until the um, calling all engines when they and during the song during one of the songs where they said he was traveling up the hill, and I think he was supposed to be in um one of the fifteen series episodes called Gordon's New Buffers, but I'm not too entirely sure, because they said Paxman, which was probably either supposed to be Paxton, but Paxman is another name for Derek's class of diesel, so maybe he was supposed to be included, because I mean he was one of those characters that were you know. They had good potential. Hmm. Excuse me. He was one of those characters that had good potential in the series. You know, he, they set the basis for a these a char another Diesel that wasn't that wasn't trying to be the antagonist. He was just trying to be really useful. But you know, he's a, he was always getting looked down upon by his fellow Diesels. But however, you know, but however, head cannons aside, let's uh, look at the um. Let's look at Derek. So, as we look on his wheels and see what year this is. So, this Derek is a 2001. This is a 2001 Derek. So, a lot of got a lot of 2001 models in my collection now. But overall, I like him. Let's take a look closer look at his model. As you see, he has the little as Leo Kim video calls it, the Thomas Love, where you know he has all these scuff marks and withered marks on him. Which looks, which is not a really a big gripe for me. Oh, excuse me. We have him in the, we have him in his um, his uh, British Railways green livery with the yellow on it. Typical liveries that a lot of the diesels wear, like spam. I mean, like um, D two six one back there or Andy. And overall, nice little details. You got the intakes, the multiple doors and vents and cabs and just everything on him. Have a low. That's a. I know in the series it was a British Railways logo right here. Let me wait for the camera to focus. Come on, focus. All right, focus. Come on, there it is. Yeah, it was supposed to be a British Railway logo, but I'm willing to guess they couldn't get the rights to do it, which is kind of dumb because characters like Neville. I think what characters like what Neville um, Boko they have one, but I guess he didn't. But hey, I guess that's how it is. But overall, I like him. Very nice looking model. He's a you know as I said I like him. He's like a, he's a character that should have had more screen time than what he was given. And one thing I also noticed about this model is that you know it has a little feature where you can pull out his engine, even though. I'm not really, I'm not really um, sure on, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really accustomed to the, uh, what you call it, the uh, anatomy of a, of, a, of a train, but I don't, I'll have to check and see if the actual basis engine was, you know, there, because I would think the engine is right here, it's right here at the top, or oh, right here at the front of the engine. I don't know why I've been yawning lately in my videos, it's like, I wonder, I shouldn't be tired, because I get like eight hours, but... Overall, let's just see how Derek stands up next to his other diesel brethren. So you see he's roughly he's roughly the same size as, you know, D261 in the toy range, but in real life, I think D261 just kind of towers over him. 
but it's nice to see you know more diesels and matter of fact this is actually another one of the wooden railway trains that i've always wanted but never got because when growing up i was interested into you know tomi and Trackmaster. and shoot funny enough and funny enough um uh what you call it take and play but i gave all my taking plays to my brother and you know and here is uh here, here he is next to maverick which i probably need to work on designing faces for him because you know i share this oc with someone now and i will say this the guy that i'm sharing this oc with he has i i love what he has did with this character like i mean sundry and customs like that's the guy who did it and i really like what he has done with the character like he's He's, he's modified it. Like, I'd be so scared to modify my train sometimes because I'd be like, what if I mess it up? What if I don't fix it, you know? But who knows? Maybe I got to get some more tips from Sh Sudger and Customs on how to modify this. You know, maybe I'll do better. And then here he is next to, you know, D2, D, I mean, D199, a.k.a. Spam Can, or in my series, he is going to be known as, or he's going to be Bear. And overall, they look pretty nice. Two friendly diesels. And here we have Daisy, the diesel rail car, which is a another to both these diesels appeared in Calling All Engines and weren't never seen again. Well, Daisy wasn't seen until season 20, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but overall, you know, I might I might do a video one day to talk about characters that could have been that could have returned and see how they could have into the cgi series because i have like a whole list of characters that probably could have came back like uh like you know like like i have one for derek i have one look i'll even probably do a video on railway series characters that could have fit into the tv series even though that's probably been done before the only character that i was glad that the only characters that were brought from the railway series were flying scotsman and the small railway engines minus minus jock and fred but no, not Fred. Um, what was his name? Frank. Frank. Fred is a narrow gauge diesel. I forgot. Uh, but yeah, those are characters that could have been brought into the um, that were brought to the like, the TV series, which is good. But yeah, one of these days I'll probably just do like a little sit down discussion and talk about, you know, talk about the uh, what engines and stuff I can, and talk about you know what engines could have been fit into the television series. And I also. Edward Exploits, uh, which is uh, one of Edward, Edward Exploits is one of the uh, my subscribers. He actually suggested for me to do a collection video. Like, you know, let me know if that's something you guys want to see, because then I actually want to do one of those. You know, because, you know, even though majority of the stuff I have is not Thomas Wooden Railway, it's actually a combination of Orbrium. You got one Brio, Brio item and some other name brand stuff. But maybe after I'm done filming NWR, Stories episode 26, which is going to be the last episode of season one, and I'm not going to be filming season two until about October or November. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. But it has to get done. It has to get done, you know? But I thank you guys for all the support once again. But anyway, overall, I love this Derek model. Derek is a, Derek is a nice character. I really like him as a, I really like him as like, you know, as a good diesel character, he's memorable. He's obscure, but he's memorable. Actually, you know what? Instead of having like Paxton or Sydney, we could have had either could have had him, or hell, I even take Splatter and Dodge. But I guess you know, in a perfect world, and like just think about it, in an alternate universe, Derek came back and became a main character of the show. But he will definitely, since I got him in the middle of filming episode 26, I'll try to squeeze him in in there. You know, might you might either see him, he might have one speaking role, or he'll be in the background somewhere. But anyway, this is Old Square Wheels, finishing off another review. And as I always say, stay happy and live life. Peace.